Welcome to another review for BDTechnicalReviews.co.nr Soon to be BDTechnicalReviews.com Today we're going to be reviewing the Sunbeam Tech Core Contact Freezer provided by SunbeamTech.com uh, Today we're going to be testing this in a couple instances of Prime 95 stress testing We will be running it on idle temperatures and the processor we will be using is the AMD Athlon X2 5000 Plus Black Edition with the unlocked multiplier for overclocking. So please stay tuned with us, guys, and enjoy the. Here's the Sunbeam Core Contact Freezer itself with the 120mm fan already attached that we did ourselves with the included mounting brackets that are easily taken and slipped right through the back of the heatsink then popped right through the hole of the 120mm fan where it meets the rubber vi anti-vibration um, clip. So we will start off with the connector. The connector is a 3-pin standard motherboard. This is not a 4-pin, which means it probably is not a PWM, but we can't really say because we have not tested it in our testing system yet. So that will be later on in the video. We want to talk about the amazing 8 heat pipes that extrude from the top of the aluminum, uh, aluminum plate. And might we say that the aluminum is very, very highly constructed. It's not a cheap bending aluminum. We can't really bend it because it's well, it's very well built. Um, one thing that we also found that is very interesting, well, it wouldn't be called the core contact freezer if it didn't have the HDT heatsink direct touch property with the mirror finish uh, for, or I shall say, eight pipe, eight heat pipe uh, cooling that directly touches the CPU's interface for the best cooling possible. Now this has been seen on the Zygmatex series of the HTT and we are doing a comparison actually between this and uh, the Arctic Cooling uh, Pro 64 cooler to see which gets the better temperature. We didn't want to put this up against another heatsink direct touch cooler because well we wouldn't be able to show you the difference because they have a lot of the same cooling temperatures, maybe better degrees in Celsius. But other than that, we want to get on with this review and show you the stock cooling properties. Okay guys, let's start off with what's included in the box besides the heat sink and fan. Okay, to start off. One of the best rated thermal compounds out there is the Tunic TX2 High Performance Thermal Grease, which has a thermal conductivity of 4.5 W slash MK and it has a viscosity of 20 285,000 CP and the appearance is gray so this is um, forget your Arctic Silver 5 your MX2 this is the best of the best out now for um, any thermal compound so it was very nice of Sunbeam Tech to include this with their Sunbeam Core Contact uh, freezer heatsink and fan. So this is very useful. You don't have to buy your Arctic Silver 5 separate because this is, you know, this is really good high performance stuff that should be uh, that can be bought separately. So that's one thing. Uh, it comes with what's very um, nice about it is that it. If you're going to be overclocking with it, you c it has a fan controller that mounts on the PC PCI bracket. Uh, we will be showing you how to mount this in the case later on in this video. Okay, and it has a low to high setting, high being the 12 volt setting, and low I'm guessing uh, like a 5 volt or a 4 volt setting. And that has a three pin in and a three pin out to motherboard or to a Molex connector. Uh, via 3-pin to Molex. You've got your socket 775 uh, easy connector with four uh, plastic black pins that go into these holes when you're mounting 
your PCI, uh, you're mounting your core contact freezer fan in there. Now, here is, I am pretty sure that this is an optional product, but I can be wrong. This is the Socket 1366 Intel Core i7 Socket Retention Bracket, which includes a metal back plate with four sticky ends that can be, the paper, wax paper is removed and they're put back on. Uh, four long screws and a very similar to the Socket 775 bracket. Okay, so that is what's in the box. This is the box, if you haven't seen already. This carrying handle. Very large box. Don't underestimate its size. Okay, so then our next uh, part of this video. Now at the low speed. Have a listen while I increase the fan speed. What's interesting about this core is that it blows a lot of the air out of the sides more so than the back. But if you have a good 120mm exhaust fan in your computer case, you should have no problem with extracting all of the hot air that is exhausted out of the core contact freezer. It's a great cooler by some, t some beam tech, and there's not much really to say about it, like that it has the HDT technology, uh, the heat pipe direct touch technology, which is the heat pipes directly touch the processor, and getting a better interface between it and the CPU, getting better cooling results around, I'd say a 10 degrees uh, Celsius um, decrease in temperatures from the cooler that was previously in our testing system, which was the Arctic Cooling Pro 64 cooler. Um, that's a good cooler if you're not going to be gaming. Now, this cooler was great because we just tested it in one, or I think it was uh, a few instances of Prime 95, and we rendered a video in 720p uh, high def on Sony Vegas uh, Pro 9. And we're going to start with the temps from our uh, Sony Vegas uh, render. We got idle, well this was before we started rendering, our idle was 29 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius, which is pretty close to the ambient temperature of the room. Um, the full load render speed, uh, render uh, temperatures were recorded anywhere from 33 degrees Celsius up to 47 degrees Celsius, which are amazing, amazing temperatures. Um, Okay, now the uh, Prime 95 temps, I'm getting 35 degrees Celsius as our starting load, and our ending load was around 48 degrees Celsius, which is really good. Sunbeam Tech Core Contact Freezer, sunbeamtech.com, won the BD Tech Silver Award because of its innovative cooling technology, but what we would have liked to see was that it had more of a directed airflow. Thanks again, and please rate, subscribe, and comment.